I mean, I'm making a survival kit. So, I've already got started, so the video won't be too long and I'll stop. So, you'll need a bracelet, yep. a rubber band, and some bobby pins. And then, the next thing you do is you attach a bunch of things that you think you'll need to survive. What's the one of the first thing you're going to put on here? This, I just put, um... It's a thimble? Yep. And then I filled it up with water. Put a lot of plastic. Covered it with a lot of tape, so then... This way you'll have water to survive because, you know, we all can't, we must have water to live, right? It's very small. This. Okay, so there's the water. It's enough for at least one day. And then Nine. an emergency snack. And you could take a nibble of that and this should last a while. One cracker. I got on the cracker. So there's a cracker in the water. I'm putting one for food. It's a bare minimum. The littlest item, littlest amount of stuff you can put in there that will help you survive for at least a day or two. I made a bow and arrow. Here's the bow and arrow out of a toothpick and tape. and then Just keep putting around till it feels like kind of thick. And then you also need one of these things to floss your teeth. Mm -hmm. Just cut off those little string. You could just see a little. And then all you have to do is put a rubber band. Then... Twist it and then put it on top of another. And just do it to both sides. Mm -hmm. I know. And then it'll just slingshot. You just have to put it in. And and it, actually, it actually works. Yeah. I'll prove it to you. Oh, I landed all the way over there. Sometimes you have to stretch out hard. Just in case, this is like a weapon in case you need, in case you need to protect yourself. I found oh, another one of these, but my mom has That's all. That's the broken in in case you have to cut yeah. up some food or pick a lock. It's very pointy on the top. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm attaching these right now. So now we're attaching the bow and arrow and the other weapon. And then I also got one of these lights from the dollar store. And this is good to get attention in case you need to get help or see in the dark. It has a little red dot. If you put it on your skin too long, you'll burn. I'm touching that. And then say that. Oh, and, you, and here's some writing paper. Just in case. I just put 10 pieces of paper. You can put how many you want, and another one. I don't know. Some writing paper in case you have to do an emergency message. And then I also got my emergency pen. I need to use this. Poke a hole. See how it's looking so far. So all you need to do is just add tape. Make sure there's a hole. And then all you have to do is attach it. Well, you also need emergency Q-tip. Uh-huh, and that could be used to stop bleeding if you get a cut, because you can take off some of the cotton. Or you can just buy a Band-Aid and put it on. And then you can even use a stick of the Q-tip and I like little sticks if you need to make a little fire to stay warm. I think that's not going to work, <laughs> would it? Maybe. Got your microwave. Just <laughs> emergency string. You don't know when you need string. Mm -hmm. But my only question, how are you going to cut it? So now I'm attaching. I don't know. I'm just attaching it. So I just put a rubber band so it won't be too long. Mom, look at So this is how it looks so far. Mom. All the emergency stuff you will need to survive at least 24 hours without any help so far. What do you think? I think Sandy thinks it looks great. But you might want to keep this inside of um, a little bag or something so it doesn't poke you. So, you also need to add one more, okay. just in case if you need to add something. So, this is how it's going to look. So, thanks for watching. Bye!